Hi, today I would like to share with you about the Triune God, about the Trinity. I hope and I pray that the Holy Spirit will help us and illumine our hearts and minds through His Word that we would understand. This topic is very hard, but I have enough confidence that through Him, there's nothing is impossible. And He will show to us and He will reveal to us. We believe in one God. There's only one God. But God revealed Himself into three persons. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Father have different office, also the Son and the Holy Spirit. But three of them, they are equal as one God. They have the same power as God. That's why we came up the word Trinity to explain how it is. There's no like, uh, exact illustration how it works, but some explanation is just like there is a lake, there is a river, and ocean. They have different name names, but they have they are the same water. So just like the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ is he is the one who really um, bring to us, brought us, and give us clearly about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Especially in the book of John. So let us try to read in the uh, John chapter one. It says, "In the beginning was the Word. In the beginning was the Word. When God created the Word." the world he spoke with the word you see he let us so there is word that come up from from the father and the word was with god and the word was and the word was god and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we have seen his glory glory as of the only son from the father full of grace and truth the word who became flesh is the son and that son is our Lord Jesus Christ who came to this world to save us in John 2 16 it says for God so loved the world to give his only begotten son that so ever believe in him shall not perish but have an everlasting life and that is Jesus and Jesus is the one who brought us clearly about the Father and the Holy Spirit. Because in the old time, in the Old Testament, most of the people they just believe about Yahweh, one God. Because God, God already revealed Himself, but it's not really clear. So, like for example, in John, uh, in Genesis chapter one, uh, twenty-six, when God created uh, the world in uh, 26 it says then God said let us make man in our image so it means God is not alone when during the creation because he said let us and the word that comes from the father he's the one who who is the one who 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 perform and the word that comes from the Father, that was Jesus. Because through Jesus, all were made. And the Holy Spirit who formed after the word and then the Holy Spirit, the one who uh, formed. So there is um, the, the, the unity of God. It's like the Father is an engineer, just like an illustration. And Jesus Christ is the word or the, the foreman. And the Holy Spirit is the worker. So this is how they work together. And during also for in uh, for the redemptive plan of God, we can also experience how the Trinity works. When man separated from God, we experience the love of the Father. Chapter 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son. We experience 
the love of the Father. And He gave who? Son. Our Lord Jesus Christ who died on the cross. And before Jesus Christ was crucified, He introduced to us the Holy Spirit, the Helper. And that is the third person. When we say when we say third person, it means they have feelings. They are they can be happy, sad, a person. So there are three person in in one God. You know our God is so powerful, and there are a lot of uh, verses that can prove the work of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, like for example, in First Corinthians thirteen fourteen, it says. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. And also in Matthew chapter 28 verse 9 says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So it is... Um, we can uh, in the the, salva in the salvation because of the love of the Father He gave His Son, so Lord Jesus Christ, who is the one who who sacrificed Himself through His blood that He paid to the Father for our salvation, and then when we receive our Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit is now in us dwelling in us to prove that we are his children so the salvation the father he gave his one and only son he sent his one and only son for our salvation for the blood of Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit now who is working in us who is dwelling in us who is teaching us so that we will see and we will glorify our Lord Jesus Christ and also our Father. And the Holy Spirit is working us now so that we will uh, we will become holy. And by the time will come, we God will uh, give us the glorified body and we will be together with Him. And the Holy Spirit is working with us right now. So the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's why we believe the Trinity because it's real Jesus the father we we experience the love of the father we experience the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ his grace his blood on the cross and the Holy Spirit who is working in us right now and helping us and helping the world and helping the unbeliever to to believe to our Lord Jesus Christ so that's why we believe in one God in three person, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I hope and pray that uh, uh, you learned something today, but it's very sad that there's a lot of people who don't understand and, and don't believe. But anyway, we could not force them because it is an uh, uh, individual rev revelation of God to each one of us. If we understand the Trinity, that would be amazing. We are so blessed. Because if we understand the Trinity, we understand clearly the plan, the perfect <coughs> plan of God, and also the work of the salvation. Because three of them, they're working together for our good. So have a nice day, everyone. I pray that God will bless you more and time will come. He will, he will use you also like what I'm doing, sharing the good news. God bless.